All right, here we go. About to work on the last two centers. We have the orange center left, and we have the red center left because we already did green and it's opposite blue, and we already did black and it's os opposite yellow. I keep saying opposite. That's that's clever. All right. So what we're gonna do is look for ones that are not where they're supposed to be. This orange, for example is on the red face. Obviously not supposed to be there, it needs to be on the opposite side. So what we do is we look for the corresponding red piece that's where it's not supposed to be on the orange side. So we're looking for one in the corner of the center box. So here's one, and now we're looking for the corresponding red piece on this side. Here it is. So what you need to do is line them up so that they're in position to replace each other if you were to move them. So this one is already lined up. So if it had been here, right, obviously if you bring it over the top, it's not going to replace this one. It's going to go here. So we need to turn it so that this one is in position to come over the top and replace this one. So now this is a bit of an algorithm. Once you have them lined up, here's what, what we're going to do. Bring it over the top to replace it, like you said. Then you're going to use an outer layer move to turn this piece, keep your eye on this piece, into a different vertical column. So it came over the top here, now it's here. Right? Bring, now where it is over here, bring that over the top. And remember, we're still looking at the piece that's right here now. Turn the outer layer backwards from what you first did so that it's in the original vertical column. Bring that over the top twice. Now we're looking, still looking at the piece that's in this position. Turn the outer layer back so it's in the second vertical column again. Now it's over here. And bring that one over the top twice. So if you recall we had three oranges that were messed up before. Now there are two because we just fixed that one that was in the corner. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing with these two. So let's line, let's do this one first. So look over here, line one up so that it's here, it's in, in position to replace it. So I, we can pick either one of these, they're both the same kind of piece. So let's put one here, using an outer layer move. Okay, so the same concept, just a little different because it's a different piece. Bring it over the top to replace it. Keep your eye on this piece. Turn using an outer layer move, so this piece is in a different vertical column than it originally was. It was here, using that outer layer move, it's now here. Take that vertical column that it's now in, put it over the top twice. Then, using the, the opposite outer layer move, bring it back to the first column it was in. Remember, this piece. Now bring it back so it's in the original column that it was in. Bring that one over the top. And finally, turn the outer layer back so it's in the second vertical column again. This one to here, this column. And bring that one over the top twice. And now we only have one piece left. So then, we're looking at this one. Look for the other piece. It's already lined up to replace. Okay, so replace it. This one turn to a new vertical column, now it's here, put that column over the top, turn back to the original vertical column, now it's here, put that one over the top, and turn back to the second vertical column again, and put that one over the top. Good, and that is all six centers.